What's up, guys? Today we're going to continue with simple recursion and demonstrate the towers of Hanoi. If you look at our diagram, we've got three towers, A, B, and C, and we've got uh, five disks on tower A, and they're stacked from smallest to largest. The objective here is to move those disks from tower A to tower C using B as a temporary holding area. And on the conditions that, one, we need to do it in as few moves as possible, and two, no larger disk can never be stacked on top of, of a smaller disk. So with that, let's get going. I'm going to go into Visual Studio 2022. I have a console app open here. Um, I'm going to need a method that's just going to actually print out a bunch, a, bunch of, a bunch of messages to the console. So we'll just say static void move disk. Um, what I do need is four parameters, though. I need one for the number of disks, so say int n. I need one for the start tower, s. I need one for the finish tower and the temporary holding tower. Okay, so the way this, this algorithm works is we, we basically need to take n minus one disks, so the top n minus one disks, and move them from the start tower to the temporary tower. And then we need to take the nth disk, that is the bottom or last disk, and move that from the start tower to the finish tower. And step three, we need to move the n minus one disk from the temporary tower to the finish tower. So for this, we're going to use recursion. And the first thing I need is a base condition. So my base condition is that I need the number of disks to be greater than zero. So we're going to say if n is greater than zero. Now we're just going to call this function recursively. Remember, the first part was to move n minus one from start to temp using finish as my temporary tower. Next one is where we're going to move the nth disk from the start tower to the finish tower. And this is also where we're going to print out our console message. So we're going to say something like console.write line move disk n from tower start to tower finish. Okay, and now we also, for step three, we need another recursive call. So we're going to say move this, and let's say it's n minus one. And this time it's from temp to finish using starting tower as our holding tower. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Uh, one other thing I need to mention, the formula for this is to calculate the minimum number of moves is uh, 2 to the n minus 1, where n is the number of disks. So in our diagram where we had five disks, that would be 2 to the fifth minus 1, which is 31 moves. So I can I can do that, and I can just, well, here, let's just run that. We'll do it with 5, and we'll say 5 disks, 5, 1, is our starting tower to our finish tower using our temporary tower. Okay, let's fire that up. And you've got 31 lines. It's not real easy to follow with five. Um, so we can also try this um, with, you know, we could put two disks in here if you want. So go ahead and do that. So move disk one from one to two. Move the second disk, which is the last disk, over to three, and then move one from, so it's very easy to visualize that. I find it very easy to actually take some physical objects, like some coins or something, and, and do it that way. And also to start with low numbers like this. A more realistic one probably would be to just say three. Two to the third minus one is seven. So we expect to have seven lines of console messages here. And you see we have from one to three, one to two, three to two, one, three, two to one, two to three, and finally one to three. And one, it, the one disc is the one that's on top. So if you enjoyed this video, 
please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time.